So if you've been watching my DIY laser series, uh, building my SP3624 laser, then you know it's basically assembled. It's now wired uh, from the previous video and we're really one button push away from firing this thing. So before we can do that, we need to align it. And if you're interested in how I did that, then stick around. How's it going everybody? Steve here, welcome back. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, in this video, I'm going to align my laser. Now this isn't like when you buy a commercial laser uh, where things are mostly aligned, even if it gets banged around a bit in shipping, things are still kind of okay. Here, we're starting from scratch. So I have to level the laser tube. I have to make sure that tube is parallel with the gantry, kind of perfectly parallel really. And then I have to start rough aligning the optics and then I'll do a fine alignment. And finally, I'll uh, once everything is, is perfect, then I'll do a test cut and that'll be it. Now, I don't want to trivialize this. This is actually a, an exercise in tedium. I'll walk back and forth. And while this may take a few minutes on video, it probably will take the first time 45 minutes an hour. So keep that in mind. It looks easy or it may look easy when I'm done here, but it, it it's just tedium. It, there's just a lot of back and forth. So anyway, let's get started and I'll show you what I did. So step one in making sure your alignment is right, we have to square the tube with the gantry. And that's just as simple as taking a measuring tape and measuring from each end of the gantry to the, to the tube. And you can adjust the, the tube mounts to, to allow that to happen. So I did that and it's exactly the same on both ends. It doesn't really matter where the gantry is front to back, it should be square, but it, you can check it in a couple of places if you want. So now that we know the, the gantry and the tube are parallel, we now need to make sure that they're both level. We know the gantry is level, uh, and there's a couple of ways we could do that. We can just simply put a, put a four foot level down the tube and make sure it's level, and that's what I did. The other way is we could actually pull this first mirror out. This is mirror one, and we could put a card here, take a shot, move a card several feet away, take another shot, and assuming the, the laser cabinet is level, of course, which in my case it is on the floor, uh, that would also allow you to do some fine adjustment. I won't bother here because I, I know the, the laser tube is, is level already. So we're gonna start by aligning uh, the path between mirror one and mirror two. This is mirror two here, and what we're trying to do is get the beam path between those two mirrors perpendicular, exactly perpendicular to the laser tube. And the way I do that, you can see this is the, the front opening for my, my mirror. And I've actually created this, just this acrylic jig that I put on there. And I put it on all, on my, all of my mirrors. And I created these, these targets. And I just use them to help me align and I can just slide it in there, take a shot, move the mirror, take another shot, and you can, and it's very easy to see the detail. So the first thing I'm gonna do is move the, the gantry down to closest to mirror one as possible and uh, take a shot and then we'll move it back here and I'll take another shot. All right, so we're ready to take a shot here. Now I have all the covers off of the laser, so this would be a great time to don some safety goggles and uh, before we get started. So here we go, I'll take the shot and you can see there it, it did the hit. Now I'll move the laser up to the other end. Okay, so you can see where the shot is. It's actually right over on the edge. Uh, the very first time you align, things can be pretty, uh, pretty bad. So make sure there's no one else ideally in, in your workshop with you. So I'll take another shot and it's entirely possible it misses the target completely. Looks like it hit it. And actually it looks like it hit the, hit the edge of the, of the mirror. So I'm going to move this over just so that, yeah, you can actually see where the, where the hit was. Oh, sorry. That's not the, so what I'm doing is moving the, the mirror X and I guess the red dot isn't in any particular place right now, but 
it's going to be pretty close to the center. So I'll take another shot here and let's see how we did. And now you can see it's a little low. Now keep in mind the when the mirror is positioned back close to mirror one, uh, adjusting it won't have very much effect. So we can safely adjust this upwards and we'll try, we'll just take another shot and I'll, I'll take a shot back at mirror one and then I'll move it back here and we'll see how we did. For that, I will move my target over to the next slot. Okay, so, so I took my shot at mirror one. You can see we're actually not too bad there. If I take another shot now, we'll see how close we are. And you can see, that I'll just pull the card out here and hold it up. You can see there's still, sorry, let me focus my, so you can see there's, there's two very distinct spots there. The one on the left is the, is the first one. And so it looks like we need to move to the left, to the right just a bit. So let's do that. And even though the red dot isn't in any particular place, what it does show us is relative movement. So if I just move over a bit and then I'll just keep repeating this process until I get uh, two spots or uh, one spot in, in overlapping. So let me do that and I'll come back. Okay, so I walked it back and forth a half a dozen times and I think this should be the last adjustment. So I'll take a shot back at mirror one and come back. And you can see the dot there. And I'll take another one. And let's have a look. And you can see, and you can see it's one right on top of the other. The, I could probably tighten that up a little bit more, but eh, it's, it's probably not not worth the effort really, but I'll do it anyway. So that should do it. And we'll call that the mirror to alignment. Okay, so now we're gonna align the path between mirror two, we, which we know is now aligned in mirror three. I have the same kind of target mount here on mirror three. So I'll put a Put a card in, I'll take a shot, and then I'll move it down to the other end. Okay, so you can see the dot is pretty high and a little right. Uh, I'm actually gonna just go ahead and move this to the right a little, because I know the red dot's probably pretty close, because it's a fixed angle. So I'll do that, I'll take another shot here and we'll see where it ended up. So moving it over turned out to be a good thing, although I moved it a little too much. So let me, and it's actually a little high as well. So I'll put the card in, I'll go back to mirror two and do an adjustment down a bit and to the right a bit and we'll take two more shots. So let me go down and shoot it at mirror two. Okay, and we'll bring her back and again, you can see it's still a bit high, but. And if we look at that, yeah, we did a little better this time might still be a bit high, so let me adjust it one more time. And again, when you're aligning, you're, you're doing a lot of this, a lot of this back and forth. 
uh, it's unavoidable because you're doing just these micro adjustments. So I'll take another shot down at mirror two. And honestly, it's very important that you have the better your alignment, the better your cuts are going to be, the more power you'll have. So that's probably about as good as I'll be able to get it. Uh, it's still, again, it's a little high, but like I said, don't worry about that. There's a number of reasons why it won't center on the target. Uh, it could be the entire beam path is a little high and it has to drop down. We'll find that out when we do the, the mirror three calibration. Or it could be just, you know, misalignment in mechanics. It could be a lot of things. But what's really important is that those two spots line up. And that will tell you that the mirror path, the beam path is perfectly adjusted from the laser tube out to this mirror. So that's all we're really looking for. So mirror three is a little, is done a little bit differently. So what I've done is just take a scrap of, of just plywood here. And what I want to do is I'll move the, I have the, the laser tube, the actual lens, as you can see it here. Uh, I have it removed in the, in the focus pin and really I'm just looking at the mirror. So there's no other additional optics to kind of distort my view. So I'll move this up and we'll get pretty close, roughly around where it would focus, which is probably around there. And I'll take a test shot and you can see it there. If I block the, the red dot, you can see the shot I took. Now what we're trying to do here, we'll move it down quite a bit and what we're trying to do is make sure if we take another shot, that shot ends up in the same spot. It's, so it's really just another way of targeting. So we'll do that. <laughs> I, actually, I actually lucked out here. So if, uh, if you look at this spot, you can see there's just no, no distinct change. If there was a dis difference, we would just adjust these two knobs here. This one is the pivot point, so we typically wouldn't touch that, but this one will move the beam left or right, and the one down on the bottom corner will move it up and down. But we don't have to touch it, so uh, we're, pretty much, we're pretty much good there. So the last thing to do would be to put the lens in, and we'll repeat that same test. So now we're going to align the lens and what I did was take this nozzle off the end of the tube. So we really just have a tube and a lens and that'll be enough for what we want to do here. So I'll put the lens back in and you can put the height pretty much anywhere you want uh, because in theory the beam will be parallel, but I'll stick it up as far as it'll go right now. And now we'll do that, that same thing again. So now, the only difference here now is we have the beam passing through the lens. Now, if the beam isn't passing through the center of the lens, we'll see two dots again. Now, this one will be a little different because it'll be focused. So let me take a shot there. And we'll do something, push it a couple of times so we see a distinguished dot there. And there is a very tiny dot there uh, because we're at the focal. So now we'll move it down, we'll do another shot. And if I look at this now, you can see two very distinct dots here. So what we're gonna, that means the beam isn't running through the center of the lens. So it's actually side to side. And what that really means is the beam isn't coming through the center of the lens properly. So the way, to, the way to fix that is we can now go back to, to mirror two and we can, we can move it a bit. And what we want to do is move it uh, inward a bit by the looks of things. And uh, we'll do that and then I'll do another one of these shots. All right, so I did some adjustment on my mirror two to get the beam lined up side to side. So if I move up here and take one more shot, you can see I'll take a shot there. 
and then I'll move it down. And don't worry about the red dot, it's going to move around for a while because we haven't set it, but I'll move it down. I'll take another shot and you can see it's pretty much down the axis. Now they're still not together and that's because the, the beam is hitting horizontally, hitting the mirror up here in the wrong place. So it's actually pushing the, some, it's causing some, some refraction in the, in the lens. So what we need to do now is adjust because what that'll result in is an angled cut. So what we need to do, we could do this a couple of ways. You could raise or lower this, or we could actually raise or lower the tube. In this case, what we need to do is we need to lower the tube to push the beam. Uh, sorry, we need to raise the tube because the lens will turn everything around. So what I'll do is I'll raise the tube a bit. And unfortunately, every time you do this, it means you have to you have to restart the alignment, but it's really quick because the mirrors aren't moving around. So, okay, and I'll take. I did a lot of adjusting, as you can see by all the dots there on the on the card. And patience is the order of the day here. So I'll take a shot. And I'll move down. I'll take another shot, and you can see it's right on top of it. So we're going to call that a perfect alignment. Now, the thing to worry about, or not worry about, I guess, is if I show you the, the final calibration on mirror one and two, you can see on mirror two, when I took two shots, it's right on the center. But on mirror three, when I took the shot, they're, it's lined up, but you can see it's off center and it's high a little bit. Don't worry about that. There's not much you can do about it. It's, it's a difference in the optic path in the tube here versus the optic path on the rest of the laser. So you just have to live with it. Uh, but as long as you know it's there, it's fine. Anyway, we're calling this laser calibrated. Uh, I'll clean the optics uh, as you should, and then we'll do a quick test cut and uh, we'll call it a day. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do here is uh, just a test cut to make sure that everything looks good. Uh, so I have a scrap and I'm just gonna cut a 50 by 50 millimeter square and this will be real time. And you can see it cut it quite nicely. If I look at the edges here, you can see they almost look like they were cut with a saw because there's almost no charring at all. Uh, it's a pretty fabulous laser, actually. I'm very happy with it. So uh, there you go. And because we spent so much time and detail focused on the, uh, uh, the vertical to get through the center of the lens, the edges here are nice and perpendicular. So uh, I'm quite happy. There you go, it wasn't too bad. Now, as I mentioned, in real time, it probably took me an hour to do this. And in part because once I got to the final mirror uh, and got the beam aligned, uh, the entire beam was a little bit low and it wasn't passing directly through, perfectly through the center of the lens, uh, that final lens. So what I did was go back from, from the start and raise the entire tube a bit. Uh, fortunately, the mounts I have for my tube have thumb screws on them to adjust the height. And the second time it didn't really take that, that much time because the optics are already pretty close. You're not changing the angle of anything. You're just raising the beam up. So uh, a few minutes later, I had it adjusted and now the laser is perfectly passing through the center of that lens. So there's not a lot of distortion. Uh, the cut angles are perfect, perfectly vertical. And, uh, you know, I'm quite happy. Uh, with that, I'll call it a video. Uh, I'll put a, a the link to the previous video up in the corner here. If you haven't seen that or the rest of the videos in this series, go watch that and I'll see you over there. Uh, other than that, as always, get out there and make your world and I'll see you next time.